Also, uh, Vision. I like Vision. Vision was great. Um, he was a bit. I feel like he was a bit rushed. Like his entrance in the movie felt a bit rushed. Like as soon as he was in the movie, it was acknowledged that he was a good guy. He was yeah. then, He then got a cape, and then he became an Avenger. It was, no capes. It literally felt like he was in the movie for about five minutes, and then he was given his Avenger stamp of approval. Like Shh, you're now Avenger. Mm -hmm. um, but he was really well done. Like his his acting was just great. Like I like how they finally used the guy who does the voice of Jarvis. Yeah, he's bought played by the same guy that does the voice of Jarvis. Um, um, it's and it's real makeup too. It's not CG. He hasn't got a CG it's face. It's like Karen Gillian's um, character in Gods of the Galaxy. Mm. It's like very little CGI. It's mostly all makeup, like you said. Yeah. I kind of like how they're using a lot more, like a lot more of that now. Like they could have easily have done that as CGI. Yeah. Like Ultron, obviously CGI. It's like very hard to build a robot that kind of would show emotion like that. The Iron Man suits. Some of them are used as costumes. Some of them are CGI. But yeah. I'm glad they use makeup. Mm, yeah. Kate probably was CGI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like. Overall, he was a great character. I feel like they might need to explain his powers set because average movie goes on going to understand. Yeah, I, I guess I thought like, his powers from. I like how they did the little homage to the comic books with mm -hmm. him saving Scarlet Witch from the from the bus or the train. I think it was. Oh yes, yes. Like because of course, if you read the comic books, they actually do get married and have children. What so like would the child, like the child be? Uh, the children are fake. The children were. I'll not get into it. It's far too complicated to explain. Uh, that's a, that's Maybe another story time. Maybe story for another time. Story for another time. Yeah. You can, go, you can waffle on that. Um, but no, I like how they did a little homage to him and, him and Scarlet Witch. Even though she's kind of going And I like fine. how he was portrayed as being... He had similar views as Ultron, but rather than just exterminate us, he would rather sit back and watch us as a society burn out. And see where we actually lead ourselves rather than intervene and just wipe us off the face of the, the, the map. Like he, he acknowledged that we were the bad, like not, not, not bad, but like vermin, like ruining the earth, well, destroying everything. We've still got time to learn, we can still learn yeah. from our mistakes, and he chose, yeah, he chose the good side. Again, with characters, I know we're kind of going on about characters, but because there's so many of them in this movie! There's, ton of them. there's too many, there's too many characters at times. It was hard to keep track of them all at times. Um, we had two new additions, I was like Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver, but mainly on Quicksilver, who was your favourite Quicksilver? The Avengers Quicksilver or Days of Future Past? Because I'm kind of like, well I like how they were different, mm. they were two different Quicksilvers, they made them their own characters, I like how they did that and I still think hey, they both did brilliant jobs of them. I'm still preferring the Days of Future Past yeah. one. I feel like Days of Future Past Quicksilver is better for the average movie goer because it it's more fun. He's more fun to watch. He's really quick. He's got his little little things he does. Whereas this Quicksilver is more close to the comic books. Of course, they couldn't they couldn't reference like his like they had to change all of his like history and stuff because mm -hmm. they couldn't say that his dad was Magneto and that mutants yeah and mutants and stuff because all that belongs to Fox because it's all the rights so they had to change up the whole entire backstory of them to both which was why, why couldn't they just why can't they just get along and just, and just let them say it <laughs> because of that it's, it's, it's a weird it's a weird ground where copyright and stuff's weird and horrible it's serious but um, now I feel like definitely Days of Future Past Quicksilver is probably the better Quicksilver he's more fun. sadly he was only in the movie for about 20 minutes it was a shame. Which right. was a shame. might be in the next one. Oh, yeah, he he's, he's one of the main characters. Brilliant! Yeah, we get some more! But, um, what do you think about them killing him? That's what I want to know. Well, if, uh, to be honest, I thought uh, how they were going with the Hawkeye plot, I thought he was going to yeah. be killed. I thought he would die, and I didn't expect. It was a pretty good. It was a pretty good, but whoa, mm -hmm. guys. Wrong guys. Also, guys, like, how. His first words to Hawkeye were also his last, like, mm. you didn't see that coming, but in Russian accent. Yeah, really bad Russian accent. Yeah, the Russian accent was a little... Like, it's not enough to break the movie, it's just there. annoying. It's just like, oh, fucking, get a better accent. I'm um, so glad you didn't go, but in Soviet Russia. I feel like, because of the way they set up the Marvel Universe, they can bring him back if they need to. 
Do you know like, what? We didn't see him get buried. Of course, they're still looking for. They're still gonna find the time gem, and they're still gonna find other infinity gems. Mm -hmm. One of them could easily, like, they could easily use the time gem. They go back in time and bring him back to life. Of course, that might be a bit complicated. And yeah, I, I don't think they should really be put time travel in. No, nah, but I feel like his powers, like, they're really good to explore. Like, hmm? they have missed an opportunity. Oh, well, that's that scene with the train, like where yeah. Captain. Yeah, had Captain America face Ultron, who was. He was underpowered against Ultron. He was trying to mm. keep him. It was like, it was like Batman versus Bane. You know, he's gonna try his best, but his best isn't gonna be good enough to yeah. go against such an enemy. And then coming to help Captain America, and it was it was a good scene. Like he's able just to knock Ultron out of the way. Yeah. And then as the train gets derailed, he's just running around moving pedestrians out the way of a high speeding train like mm -hmm. on roads like i feel like of, like his powers just like like the, the, the one scene where he sees Thor's hammer going past mm -hmm. and it's really slow motion because he sees the world a lot quicker yeah but that was kind like, of a funny scene i feel like in, in later movies they could have explored his powers a bit more mm -hmm. like but of course you kind of like I, he can run re like, we, we see him as he can run really fast yeah like, but, how does he like? He, but he sees the world as it going really slow. Yeah, he, he feels the whole. He sees the whole world as just slow motion. Well, I went for both of them, and that that advertises them. Up. For both of them, it was like it was a it was like a especially for the Days of Future Past quick so It's like a guy in line for at a cash machine. He's waiting for the person in front of him, and he's just like getting irritated about how slow they're taking. Mm. He's in a rush all the time. Yeah, exactly. He just, wants, he's, he just wants to get out of the way and just done and go. Yeah, pretty much. Um, and then of course you had Scarlet Witch, who, if you've read the comics, you, I have you not know read the how comics. powerful Scarlet Witch is. She's, she's basically an, like a god level yeah. mutant in terms of like she can alter the universe if she like if she's powered up, powered up enough. Um, but of course in the movie they had to depower her because they can't have someone that powerful mm -hmm. um, just rolling around. But they do actually show you like. So you get to see her reality altering powers where she like manages to pull pull up bars inside the train out of nowhere. Um, they could have been just bars from like wires and pipes within the train. It looked like she materialised them because they, like, they did look a little sharpy. They looked a bit weird. Um, also, with powers for her, how she was able to do like um, mind control. I wouldn't say the mind control. Like in the film, people were going on like how they'll see weird visions and stuff mm. like nightmares and yeah. stuff. And she was able to do that to the majority of the uh, Avengers that like she gave one. Uh, right in the beginning, she uh, did that to Tony Stark, who saw all yeah. his friends die, and, which kickstarts the movie. Out, a good scene. It was a good scene with the, the shield broken in mm -hmm. half. And that was in the trailer. That was kind of that was a red herring draft. Oh yeah, definitely. That, definitely red herring. It's been in the comics like ten times. Yeah, just the, the broken shield. And it was just like, okay, so that's kicks off the movie. Captain America gets one where he gets a dance with his uh, former girlfriend from World War Two. Thor gets one which will set off Ragnarok. Is it Ragnarok? Ragnarok, yeah. Ragnarok. It's just basically a setup for the next movie. For yes, Thor. that was that was with Thor. Um, and then there was also Scarlet Witch's Nightmare, which was the Red, the red Room, the ballet dancing, the training of her being an assassin, mm. uh, which was kind of a bit of a disturbing. Oh, it was really. Yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty horrifying. Uh, but oh, especially with the the girls with no mouths. Like, I know it's that was kind of a creepy moment, like nearly horror moment. Just the, the girls with no mouths. Mm. But um, yeah, overall the characters were pretty decent. Some of them were a little rushed, but oh, yeah, definitely. Um, overall, like you can't give everyone the like, the screen uh, time yeah, they definitely. need in a there film was, like this. There was cameos so by everyone. Yeah, like Samuel and Jackson really, came back. And then yeah. you had the Falcon, you had... Um, War Machine, Jim was Rose. his, like, stories. Um, and you didn't really need development for them, you just needed to know that they were there to help. Because you didn't want to have, like, an Iron Man 3 situation where the president gets kidnapped and the only one that comes to help is Iron Man. Like, yeah. where's Captain America? He kind uh, of is I mean, American. He's like... Yeah, you'd expect a like, Captain America to be on, like, exactly. the, top, the top of the list to save exactly. the president. If you're going to save the president, send in Captain America, he's kind of... American or, golden child. Or, uh, is it Jared Butler? Mm -hmm. You know, the guy in Olympus has fallen, you send him to say to President. Alright, sort of. It might be him, I don't know, I haven't seen no. the movie yet. I don't know. I don't uh, they're doing a sequel to the, uh, the London. Alright. Uh, it's called London Has Fallen, which I think is a song. Mm hmm. But anyway, so moving on, like, again, there's, there's plenty of 
fight scenes in the movie. There's effects for most of these fight scenes. Like, overall, do you think the fight scenes? Uh, overall, the fight scenes, um, they were good. Um, I didn't think... I thought they were a bit too fast, uh, fast paced. Like, yeah. They were really hard to follow the times. Like, suddenly Iron Man's on one side, then he's on the other side of the screen in second. Like, not even a second. And it just felt like... Too quick. It's too quick. Like, in the first movie, a lot of the fights were not slow, but they were on screen and everything had the, weird. The edits yeah. were a lot quicker in this. Now, I saw it twice. Mm. And I noticed that, I, obviously, when you watch a video, you're watching anything. Or, yeah, and in real life, you blink. Yeah. And it said that um, when watching film, you blink so many times, you miss out uh, maybe, uh, it may sound bad, like just less than a minute of actual footage. Because like the amount of time, that, it's, it, uh, the time to blink. Mm. I actually noticed little, those tiny little edits where I had blinked last time. I think, wait, I didn't see that last time. Yeah. Oh yeah, I must have blinked. But uh, it, was, it, was a, it was a bit too quick. Like Especially like, the scene in the tanker. Yeah, I feel like if they slowed it down and just, like, it, it adds more weight to the fight. Mm -hmm. Like, some of the fights just in the first one just felt like it was two godlike entities mm -hmm. hitting each other, whereas in this one it just feels like there's all over the joint. Yeah. Exactly. Like, it feels more like, a, like, it's not as bad as Transformers, it's nowhere near as bad uh, as that. Uh, but I feel like when you slow it down and just have it more. More and, and weights. Yeah, and weights in the fight. Well, there was a lot of weights in the Hulk versus. Yeah, I think that was one of the better fights. That was that was good. Wasn't as wasn't as like quick and fast paced. But that's because it was two giants. It was two giants, and also like their speed. Like even though they are quite, they are big. There is they has to have time to move to exactly. each the shots at one another. Like obviously, um, the Hulk. Hulkbuster can't move in rapid succession to the Hulk, while the Hulk can move a lot quicker. So Hulkbuster compensates with a lot of um, a lot of force, mm -hmm. a lot of power behind it. But um, anything else you want to bring up? I'd like to talk about the Hulk parts. I think I thought was bad. Like, okay, yeah, but, well, it cons it, yeah, cons in the movie. Yeah, so of course the movie wasn't perfect. There was a couple of cons in the movie. Like, um, they could have made it like explain a few things where you said there's a longer cut. Yeah, there's, there's a three hour cut in the movie, but mm -hmm. I had to cut so much out, so some of the stuff feels a bit quick and forced. Like, the whole romance plot between Hulk and their uh, Black Widow just that seems kind of came out of, out of the blue. Yeah, yeah. It's like, it, it, it's watch, like, you go to these movies and you think, ah, oh, she's got affection for Hawkeye. Oh, no, she's got affection for Captain America. Oh, no, there's, there's Hulk. She, she yeah. wants, um, she wants a smashing. Pretty much. <laughs> nah, I just, um, I got it. overall I just felt like, of course, it feels weird that the, the that Black Widow who used to be such a prominent character in terms of like, she was just badass, she had like, her own personality, has now been reduced to like, the Hulk's girlfriend, the Hulk's romance interest, like that was her story arc in this movie, which just felt a bit off. It was like, alright, so she's basically there to provide the lullaby for the Hulk. That was kind of clever, like, how, yeah, like, how, like, that calm, idea was how you calm down the whole But I feel like, I don't know, I feel like that was one of the, the bad, the, well not bad parts, but it was just a bit off and a bit weird. And then, um, time for your lullaby, the sun is setting. Yeah, it's just, I don't know, it's just like, that, the whole Hulk and Romanoff thing. I feel like if they did have the three hour cut, it would have explained a bit mm. more. Speaking of extended cuts, we've probably all seen the trailer, I can't remember which one it it is a it has three main trailers, mm. and in one of the trailers, uh, there's a scene, uh, and within the movie, there's a scene in a in a cave with a like sort of like a small lagoon pool. There's a woman in there yeah. being revealed. Being revealed, that was not shown in the movie, and I'm suspecting that's in the that pre-hour version. Put, um, Who is she? It Why is she? Really there? announced it really like the trailer was made by a different company. Um, mm -hmm. Well, it wasn't made by a different company, but it was made by different people, and they just thought it was a striking image, so they put it in the trailer. But that is another part of the movie that really didn't make sense, which was like Thor's magic paddling pool. <laughs> it was literally just a pool of water that Thor climbed in, and then suddenly had visions of the future, which... Well, you did say it was a that point in the it's just, realm. It sounds like Doctor Who logic, it's just like... 
Oh yeah, like a crack in time. Literally or, just or like, like this is this is the end of the point of the parallel universe. I feel universe. like I feel like that was void. That was I feel like that put the, the pool of water was only put into it so they could set up Ragnarok in about two minutes and then set up the Infinity Gauntlet. Like if you think about it, the Avengers didn't have any idea about the Infinity Stones until Thor got in Mention the water. It. Exactly, like now they know about the Infinity Gauntlet. And the stones, yeah. And that's the first time the story heard about. At least it didn't come up in conversation during the battle. Like at the end, they have the end battle with uh, Ultron versus all his Ultron bots. At least it didn't appear like, hey, Tony, I had a vision. I know a load of gems and a glove. Why am I throwing my hammer like this? It's a fuck no. It's a lightsaber. Totally different. Totally different. But. At least it could have come out like that. It could have, oh, it could have come been, out worse, but... It could have been really still cheesy. A, still a bit iffy. I, uh, but it doesn't make a movie, like, terrible. It yeah. It's still a great movie, no matter yeah, what. Every movie has fun. Mm, exactly. Mention some cons on a movie. Any pros? Anything you thought was, like, wow, that was a good highlight? Or anything that kind of makes you looking forward to, like, other stuff so, the Marvel Universe? I think the best highlights of the entire movie itself was... I like the end when they set up Avengers, like the new Avengers Academy, which is um, a nice re reference to the comic book of the same name, the new Avengers. I like how it, um, I like how it portrayed Tony and how he left the, the, the Avengers at the end, he was just done. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like that kind of sets up Civil War because he's going to feel like, who does the Avengers answer to? Because they pretty much did commit crimes. Well, not proper crimes, but they did destroy a city. And, and a building. And bring back a robot that probably killed quite a few people. But he doesn't have to answer to anyone because he's an Avenger. So I feel mm -hmm. like that's going to set up Civil War. I feel like the movie was more of a set up for Civil War than it was for any other Marvel movie. Um, I, can, like I can see that. Because, like, mm -hmm. as it was, yes, it was a sequel to, obviously, Avengers and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, remember, like, all the, the Iron Man movies are going to get into it. So the, the four movies are continuing with it as well. Captain America is going to be in Civil War. And then we've got all these other future... Yeah. Marvel movies that will come into it as well. It's all one big storyline being spread over many films with their own little subplots feeding into yeah. Avengers. It's quite a lot. Like again, it's, oh, yeah. it's like we've looked, like you said, the comics. You're a big comic fan oh, yeah. of Marvel. There's so many comics, and each one, like again, with these films, kind of sprouts off from the main yeah. plot, which is the problems. Avengers. Very at times. So we've covered most of the stuff in the movie. What do you think, I, again, you've read the comics, mm -hmm. you kind of have a little bit, I wouldn't say knowledge of the future, but you may have some guesses what might happen in the next Avenger movie. In the next Avenger movie? Yes. So, I feel like this could be a video for another time, just because it's extremely, like, basically... I know, I know there'll be probably a lot you want to bring up, but if you're going to just pull up, just... Briefly, All right. what could we expect? So if you if you watch the end credits, you see that Thanos goes and he picks up the Infinity Gauntlet and yes. he says he'll do it himself. Speaking on speaking on that, this is the first of a like, Marvel movie I can remember where there wasn't something right at the very end. There's, there isn't only two. That was just a random so. funny one. That was the well, Swarm scene. Um, but that Swarm scene they had in um. I mean, it, was, it was Iron Man, right at the end, I had Thor's hammer. Um, yeah, but that was like mid, I don't know. I think for the Dark World had the weird... Winter Soldier had um, Bucky, Winter Soldier, at the museum. Yeah. Yeah? This, I was expecting, like, there was that leaked video of the Spider-Man footage, which I, oh, yeah. I, I didn't get to watch, I was but, so excited for that. Uh, really you, you, you what? Did you stay to the end? Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm not going to... I don't believe Josh Whedon, sorry. I mean, okay. we, we trust him, that's, that's a lie. Uh, I kind of trust him now though, because he was trying to tell him the truth. You know, there wasn't an end sequence. Uh, um, but no, no, I feel like, so of course, in the end sequence, you see Thanos pick up the glove, he says he's going to go do it himself. So I feel like, literally the next Avengers movie will have <laughs> Thanos coming to Earth to get the mind gem off, old, like Vision. Vision's now got the mind gem, so it gives it, it gives Thanos a reason to go to Earth, and then of mm -hmm. course the second Avengers movie will probably be set in space, like... Or we'll probably team up with Guardians of the Galaxy. Exactly, I feel like Avengers Part 2 or End of Part 1 is going to open up, like, end with, like, 
the Guardians come in and pick it up the Avengers and they're going to go to space in the big spaceship and it's going to be like, woo, adventure time in space with all the aliens. That would be, be great. And Spider-Man will be there and it'll be great. And Spider-Man You're a big fan. Spider-Man fan, aren't Spider-Man's you? Spider-Man's the best. Look at him. He's everywhere. Spider-Man. Yeah. I mean, you can't really do whatever a spider can. Still, he's easily the best hero. You can't call him the E.N. Die. Still the best superhero. Not really. Yeah. Like, Batman's a better superhero. Batman's shy. You heard it here first. That one's shite. I can't believe you just said that. Like, how dare you? Spider-Man's way better than Batman. Well, they've got something in common. Their parents are dead. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> parents are dead, one's rich, one's poor. Yes. Everything They're polar opposite. opposites. Pretty much. Poor opposites in everywhere apart from their parents are dead. They're dead. <laughs> but, um, aye, so... It's going to be a little while till we see the next so Avenger movie. Three years, I think. Three, nearly four years. That's enough time. The next one. And then they're shooting back to back, though. They're shooting nine months back to back. So they're going to be tired. After Civil War, they're going to start shooting Infinity Gauntlet straight away. Mm. Well, once Ragnarok's finished. Uh, I think Thor's not in the first um, Infinity Gauntlet. Mm. So yeah, he's going to show up in the second, second movie. That's right. Um, you can't have, like, he's gonna everyone. Be, he's he's going to be stuck doing shit in Valhalla or whatever. Um, like playing games with Loki. Pretty much. And then he'll somehow be in the, in the second one. Mm-hmm. But overall, no, no, it's, it's going to be a good pop. And then, of course, Civil War, that's what I'm more excited for because they're going to, you know, have Iron Man and Captain America fight in the most glorious way ever. And there'll be Spider Man. Spider Man's going to show up. It's going to be awesome. Can't wait. I'm looking forward to kind of seeing Spider Man again. I, I kind of miss the fact that Andrew Garfield's not doing it. I've, well, but I've got I've got hope though because Marvel know how to do Spider Man. Very true. They all they have already announced the one I'm gonna be like thirteen, fourteen years old. So he's just gonna be a kid. He's gonna be a kid in every. Uh, supposedly every movie is gonna be a new year in high like high school like him growing up in school. Each movie is gonna be like a coming of age story, and they haven't done a coming of age story yet. That's gonna be interesting. That's so it'll be like it'll be Spider Man. It'll be coming of age. It'll be amazing. Uh, we won't have a twenty-something year old playing high school anymore. Yeah. We'll have a we'll have a real high schooler being high school. And the only question is, Mary Jane or Gwen Stacy, who is it this time? I hope it's I hope it's both of them. Kind of. He's just trying to fall out Spider Man, aren't he? But no, because they're both show up in the comics at the same yeah. time. Oh. It's just Gwen dies. That spoilers. <laughs> Fifty year old spoiler. Well, yeah, well, I think everyone kind of knew she would probably die. Why, why would Andrew Garfield be like, yeah, yeah. that? That was like but the best was, scene in the movie. That it was good. But, yeah. yeah, but back on Avengers, it was good. It was a full, It was the first summer blockbuster. Now, yeah. it's probably. It's it's the highest blockbuster in America at the moment, anyway. Yeah, it's so it's, it's, domi- it's, it's dominating at the moment. Uh, I feel like <laughs> the only hope left is will Star Wars be better than it? That's the question. That's that's again a future video: Avengers versus Star Wars. Mm. What will win? Because like, come on, for the next half a decade and longer, we're gonna get like Marvel movies and Star Wars movies the same year. Yeah, that'd be great. Doesn't matter whoever who. It doesn't matter which one loses, Disney's gonna win. No, it yeah, didn't. Disney wins the tickets. Yeah, Disney wins. wins. But anyway, uh, yes, we you've heard us ramble about the new Avengers movie. What did you think of it? What were your favorite bits, and what were the cons to you? You've heard us talk about it. Let's hear from you. I've been the movie maniac, and I've been joined by my geeky Marvel friend. Hey, bye. All right, take care, and thank you for watching.